The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is an agency of the United States Department of Defense responsible for the development of emerging technologies for use by the military. Originally known as the Advanced Research Projects Agency the agency was created in February 1958 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower in response to the Soviet launching of Sputnik 1 in 1957. By collaborating with academic, industry, and government partners, DARPA formulates and executes research and development projects to expand the frontiers of technology and science, often beyond immediate U.S. military requirements. DARPA funded projects have provided significant technologies that influenced many non military fields, such as computer networking and the basis for the modern Internet, and graphical user interfaces in information technology. DARPA is independent of other military research and development and reports directly to senior Department of Defense Management. DARPA has about 220 employees, of whom approximately 100 are in management. The name of the organization first changed from its founding name ARPA to DARPA in March 1972, briefly changing back to ARPA in February 1993, only to revert to DARPA in March 1996. <laughs> Mission Currently, my mission statement is, "...to make pivotal investments in breakthrough technologies for national security." History Early history 1959 the creation of the Advanced Research Projects Agency was authorized by President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1958 for the purpose of forming and executing research and development projects to expand the frontiers of technology and science, and able to reach far beyond immediate military requirements, the two relevant acts being the Supplemental Military Construction Authorization Air Force Public Law 85-325 and Department of Defense Directive 5000 105.15, in February 1958. Its creation was directly attributed to the launching of Sputnik and to U.S. realization that the Soviet Union had developed the capacity to rapidly exploit military technology. Initial funding of ARPA was $520 million. ARPA's first director, Roy Johnson, left a $160,000 management job at General Electric for an $18,000 job at ARPA. Herbert York from Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory was hired as his scientific assistant. Johnson and York were both keen on space projects, but when NASA was established later in 1958, all space projects and most of ARPA's funding were transferred to it. Johnson resigned and ARPA was repurposed to do high risk, high gain, far out basic research, a posture that was enthusiastically embraced by the nation's scientists and research universities. ARPA's second director was Brigadier General Austin W. Betts, who resigned in early 1961. He was succeeded by Jack Ruiner who served until 1963. Ruiner, the first scientist to administer ARPA, managed to raise its budget to $250 million. It was Ruiner who hired J. C. R. Licklider as the first administrator of the Information Processing Techniques Office, which played a vital role in creation of ARPANET, the basis for the future Internet. Additionally, the political and defense communities recognized the need for a high level Department of Defense organization to formulate and execute R&D projects that would expand the frontiers of technology beyond the immediate and specific requirements of the military services and their laboratories. In pursuit of this mission, DARPA has developed and transferred technology programs encompassing a wide range of scientific disciplines that address the full spectrum of national security needs. From 1958 to 1965, ARPA's emphasis centered on major national issues, including space, ballistic missile defense, and nuclear test detection. During 1960, all of its civilian space programs were transferred to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration and the military space programs to the individual services. 
This allowed ARPA to concentrate its efforts on the Project Defender defense against ballistic missiles, Project Vela nuclear test detection, and Project Agile counterinsurgency R&D programs, and to begin work on computer processing, behavioral sciences, and materials sciences. The Defender and Agile programs formed the foundation of DARPA sensor, surveillance, and directed energy R&D, particularly in the study of radar, infrared sensing, and X-ray, gamma ray detection. ARPA at this point 1959 played an early role in transit also called NAVSAR, a predecessor to the Global Positioning System GPS. Fast forward to 1959 when a joint effort between DARPA and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory began to fine-tune the early explorer's discoveries. Transit, sponsored by the Navy and developed under the leadership of Dr. Richard Kirchner at Johns Hopkins, was the first satellite positioning system. During the late 1960s, with the transfer of these mature programs to the services, ARPA redefined its role and concentrated on a diverse set of relatively small, essentially exploratory research programs. The agency was renamed the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency in 1972, and during the early 1970s, it emphasized direct energy programs, information processing, and tactical technologies. Concerning information processing, DARPA made great progress, initially through its support of the development of time sharing all modern operating systems rely on concepts invented for the Multics system, developed by a cooperation among Bell Labs, General Electric and MIT, which DARPA supported by funding Project Mac at MIT with an initial $2 million grant. DARPA supported the evolution of the ARPANET the first wide area packet switching network, packet radio network, packet satellite network and ultimately, the Internet and research in the artificial intelligence fields of speech recognition and signal processing, including parts of Shaky the Robot. DARPA also funded the development of the Douglas Engelbart's NLS computer system and the mother of all demos, and the Aspen Movie Map, which was probably the first hypermedia system and an important precursor of virtual reality. Topic: Later history, 1970 to 1980. The Mansfield Amendment of 1973 expressly limited appropriations for defense research through ARPA, DARPA only to projects with direct military application. Some contend that the amendment devastated American science, since ARPA, DARPA was a major funding source for basic science projects of the time, the National Science Foundation never made up the difference as expected. The resulting, brain drain, is also credited with boosting the development of the fledgling personal computer industry. Some young computer scientists left the universities to startups and private research laboratories such as Xerox PARC. Between 1976 and 1981, DARPA's major projects were dominated by air, land, sea, and space technology, tactical armor and anti-armor programs, infrared sensing for space-based surveillance, high-energy laser technology for space-based missile defense, anti-submarine warfare, advanced cruise missiles, advanced aircraft, and defense applications of advanced computing. These large-scale technological program demonstrations were joined by integrated circuit research, which resulted in sub-micrometer electronic technology and electron devices that evolved into the Very Large Scale Integration program and the congressionally mandated charged particle beam program. Many of the successful programs were transitioned to the services, such as the Foundation Technologies in Automatic Target Recognition, Space-Based Sensing, Propulsion, and Materials that were transferred to the Strategic Defense Initiative Organization SDIO, later known as the Ballistic Missile Defense Organization BMDO, now titled the Missile Defense Agency MDA. Recent history 1981-present During the 1980s, the attention of the agency was centered on information processing and aircraft-related programs, including the National Aerospace Plane or Hypersonic Research Program. 
The Strategic Computing Program enabled DARPA to exploit advanced processing and networking technologies and to rebuild and strengthen relationships with universities after the Vietnam War. In addition, DARPA began to pursue new concepts for small, lightweight satellites and directed new programs regarding defense manufacturing, submarine technology, and armor, anti-armor. On October 28, 2009 the agency broke ground on a new facility in Arlington, Virginia a few miles from the Pentagon. In fall 2011, DARPA hosted the 100-year Starship Symposium with the aim of getting the public to start thinking seriously about interstellar travel. On June 5, 2016, NASA and DARPA announced that it planned to build new X-planes with NASA's plan setting to create a whole series of X-planes over the next 10 years. In July 2016, 16, it was announced that DARPA would bring a group of top-notch computer security experts to search for security vulnerabilities and create a fix that patches those vulnerabilities and it is called the Cyber Grand Challenge In June 2018, DARPA leaders demonstrated a number of new technologies that were developed within the framework of the GXVT program. The goal of this program is to create a lightly armored combat vehicle of not very large dimensions, which, due to maneuverability and other tricks, can successfully resist modern anti-tank weapon systems. DARPA history Organization Current program officers DARPA has six technical officers that manage the agency research portfolio, and two additional support officers that manage special projects and transition efforts. All officers report to the DARPA director. The Adaptive Execution Office AEO is one of two new DARPA offices created in 2009 by the DARPA Director, Regina Dugan. The office's four project areas include technology transition, assessment, rapid productivity and adaptive systems. AEO provides the agency with robust connections to the warfighter community and assists the agency with the planning and execution of technology demonstrations and field trials to promote adoption by the warfighter, accelerating the transition of new technologies into DOD capabilities. The Defense Sciences Office DSO vigorously pursues the most promising technologies within a broad spectrum of the science and engineering research communities and develops those technologies into important, radically new military capabilities. DSO identifies and pursues high-risk, high-payoff fundamental research initiatives across a broad spectrum of science and engineering disciplines, sometimes reshaping existing fields or creating entirely new disciplines, and transforms these initiatives into radically new, game-changing technologies for U.S. national security. The Information Innovation Office aims to ensure U.S. technological superiority in all areas where information can provide a decisive military advantage. Some of the program managers in I-20 are Wade Shen as of December 2014, Stuart Wagner as of September 2014, Steve Jamieson as of August 2014, Angelos Keramatis as of July 2014, and David Duerman as of April 2014. Brian Pierce is currently the office director. The Microsystems Technology Office MTO mission focuses on the heterogeneous microchip scale integration of electronics, photonics, and microelectromechanical systems MEMS. Their high-risk, high-payoff technology is aimed at solving the national-level problems of protection from biological, chemical and information attack and to provide operational dominance for mobile distributed command and control, combined manned, unmanned warfare, and dynamic, adaptive military planning and execution. The Strategic Technology Office mission is to focus on technologies that have a global theater-wide impact and that involve multiple services. The Tactical Technology Office TTO engages in high-risk, high-payoff advanced military research, emphasizing the «system» and «subsystem» approach to the development of aeronautic, space, and land systems as well as embedded processes and control systems. 
The Biological Technologies Office BTO fosters, demonstrates, and transitions breakthrough fundamental research, discoveries, and applications that integrate biology, engineering, and computer science for national security. Created in April 2014 by then Director Arati Prabhakar, taking programs from the MTO and DSO divisions. Topic: <laughs> Former Offices. Information Awareness Office, 2002–2003 The Advanced Technology Office ATO researched, demonstrated, and developed high payoff projects in maritime, communications, special operations, command and control, and information assurance and survivability mission areas. The Special Projects Office SPO researched, developed, demonstrated, and transitioned technologies focused on addressing present and emerging national challenges. SPO investments ranged from the development of enabling technologies to the demonstration of large prototype systems. SPO developed technologies to counter the emerging threat of underground facilities used for purposes ranging from command and control, to weapons storage and staging, to the manufacture of weapons of mass destruction. SPO developed significantly more cost-effective ways to counter proliferated, inexpensive cruise missiles, UAVs, and other platforms used for weapon delivery, jamming, and surveillance. SPO invested in novel space technologies across the spectrum of space control applications including rapid access, space situational awareness, counterspace, and persistent tactical grade sensing approaches including extremely large space apertures and structures. The Information Systems Office in the 1990s developed system applications of advanced information technologies. It was a predecessor to the Information Exploitation Office, a 1991 reorganization created several offices which existed throughout the early 1990s. The Electronic Systems Technology Office combined areas of the Defense Sciences Office and the Defense Manufacturing Office. This new office will focus on the boundary between general purpose computers and the physical world, such as sensors, displays and the first few layers of specialized signal processing that couple these modules to standard computer interfaces. The Computing Systems Technology Office combined functions of the old Information Sciences and Tactical Technology Office. The office will work scalable parallel and distributed heterogeneous computing systems technologies," Dodd said. The Software and Intelligent Systems Technology Office and the Computing Systems Office will have responsibility associated with the Presidential High Performance Computing Initiative. The Software Office will also be responsible for "...software systems technology, machine intelligence and software engineering." The Land Systems Office was created to develop advanced land vehicle and anti-armor systems, once the domain of the Tactical Technology Office. The Undersea Warfare Office combined areas of the Advanced Vehicle Systems and Tactical Technology Offices to develop and demonstrate submarine stealth and counter-stealth and automation. Reorganization in 2010 merged two offices. The Transformational Convergence Technology Office TCTO mission was to advance new cross-cutting capabilities derived from a broad range of emerging technological and social trends, particularly in areas related to computing and computing-reliant sub-areas of the life sciences, social sciences, manufacturing, and commerce. The TCTO was folded into the I-20 in 2010. The Information Processing Techniques Office IPTO focused on inventing the networking, computing, and software technologies vital to ensuring DOD military superiority. The IPTO was combined with TCTO in 2010 to form the I-20. Projects <laughs> 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 A list of DARPA's active and archived projects is available on the agency website. Because of the agency fast pace, programs constantly start and stop based on the needs of the U.S. government. Structured information about some of the DARPA's contracts and projects is publicly available. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Active projects. Aerial Reconfigurable Embedded System Ares, formerly TX, cargo carrying UAV. ACTUV, a project to build an unmanned anti-submarine warfare vessel. Air Dominance Initiative, a 2015 program to develop technologies to be used in sixth-generation jet fighters. Big Mechanism, Cancer Research, 2015. Blackjack, a 2018 plus program to develop and test military satellite constellation technologies with a variety of military unique sensors and payloads attached to commercial satellite buses. As an architecture demonstration intending to show the high military utility of global LEO constellations and mesh networks of lower size, weight, and cost spacecraft nodes. The idea is to demonstrate that good enough payloads in LEO can perform military missions, augment existing programs, and potentially perform on par or better than currently deployed exquisite space systems. Blockade, rapidly constructed barrier, 2014. Boeing X-37. Captive air amphibious transporter. Causal exploration of complex operational environments. Casual Exploration", Computerized Aid to Military Planning, 2018 Clean Slate Design of Resilient, Adaptive, Secure Hosts Crash, a TCTO initiative. Cognitive Technology Threat Warning System Collaborative Operations in Denied Environment Code, Modular Software Architecture for UAVs to pass information to each other in contested environments to identify and engage targets with limited operator direction, 2015 Combat Zones that see, "...track everything that moves", in a city by linking up a massive network of surveillance cameras Computational Weapon Optic CWO, computer rifle scope that combines various features into one optic. DARPAGXVT DARPAXG, technology for dynamic spectrum access for assured military communications Experimental Spaceplane 1 formerly XS1, Phase 2 and 3 of a reusable unmanned space transport Gremlins, air-launched and recoverable UAVs with distributed capabilities to provide low-cost flexibility over expensive multirole platforms. Ground X vehicle technology Force application and launch from continental United States Falcon, a research effort within TTO to develop a small satellite launch vehicle, 2008. This vehicle is under development by AirLaunch LLC. Fast lightweight autonomy, software algorithms that enable small UAVs to fly fast in cluttered environments without GPS or external communications, 2014 High energy liquid laser area defense system High productivity computing systems Hydra, undersea network of mobile unmanned sensors, 2013 Integrated sensor is structure Intelligent Integration of Information in CISTO, 1994 to 2000 supported database research and with ARPA CISTO and NASA funded the NSF Digital Library Program, that led A. O. to Google. Media Forensics Medifa, a project aimed at automatically spotting digital manipulation in images and videos, including deepfakes, 2018. MEMS Exchange – Microelectromechanical Systems MEMS Implementation Environment Near Zero Power RF and Sensor Operations N0, Reducing or Eliminating the Standby Power Unattended Ground Sensors Consume, 2015 Persistent Close Air Support Protein Design – Processes Quasar – Quantum Assisted Sensing and Readout Cube – Quantum Effects in Biological Environments Quist, Quantum Information Science and Technology Quest, Quantum Entanglement Science and Technology Quinus, Macroscopic Quantum Communications Robotic Servicing of Geosynchronous Satellites Program, a telerobotic and autonomous robotic satellite servicing project, conceived in 2017, and planned for launch no earlier than the 2020s.
Remote controlled insects. Safe genes, a synthetic biology project to program undo sequences into gene editing programs. 2016. Satellite remote listening system, a satellite mounted system that can eavesdrop on a targeted area on the surface of the planet in coordination with satellite cameras. This project is in its infant stage. Sensor plants, DARPA, is working on a plan to use plants to gather intelligence information. Through DARPA's Advanced Plant Technologies APT program, which aims to control the physiology of plants in order to detect chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear threats, 2017 System of Systems Integration Technology and Experimentation SOCIT, combinations of aircraft, weapons, sensors, and mission systems that distribute air warfare capabilities across a large number of interoperable manned and unmanned platforms, 2015 Squad X Core Technologies SXCT, digitized, integrated technologies that improve infantry squads' awareness, precision, and influence, 2015 Synapse – Systems of Neuromorphic Adaptive Plastic Scalable Electronics Sigma – A network of radiological detection devices the size of smartphones that can detect small amounts of radioactive materials. The devices are paired with larger detector devices along major roads and bridges. 2016 Tactical Boost Glide – Air-launched hypersonic boost glide missile. 2016 Tactically Exploited Reconnaissance Node, Ship-Based Long-Range ISR UAV, 2014 UAV Forge 2011. Upward Falling Payloads, Payloads stored on the ocean floor that can be activated and retrieved when needed, 2014 UltraVis Urban Leader Tactical Response, Awareness and Visualization, Heads-Up Display for Individual Soldiers, 2014 VTOLX Plane 2013 Warrior Web – Soft exosuit to alleviate musculoskeletal stress on soldiers when carrying heavy loads, 2014 XDATA – Processing and analyzing vast amounts of information, 2012 Neural implants for soldiers, 2014 AGM-158CLRASM – Anti-ship cruise missile Hive hierarchical identify verify exploit CPU architecture 2017 topic <laughs> past or transitioned projects Wolfpack 2010 topic <laughs> <laughs> notable fiction DARPA is well known as a high-tech government agency, and as such has many appearances in popular fiction. Some realistic references to DARPA in fiction are as ARPA in Tom Swift and the Visitor from Planet X DARPA consults on a technical threat, in episodes of television program The West Wing the ARPA DARPA distinction, the television program NUM 3 Rupees DARPA research into creating the first self-aware computer, and in the motion picture executive decision use of a one-of-a-kind experimental prototype in an emergency. DARPA is depicted in the visual novel, anime series Steins, Gate Zero as DURPA, a shadowy government organization that has been researching time travel in order to gain an advantage against Russia, which is also developing time travel in the upcoming World War III. <laughs> <laughs> See also Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy ARPA-E Homeland Security Advanced Research Projects Agency HSARPA Intelligence Advanced Research Projects Activity IARPA Marine Corps Combat Development Command MCCDC United States Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory MCWL Office of Naval Research ONR Naval Research Laboratory NRL Air Force Research Laboratory AFRL Air Force Nuclear Weapons Center NWC 
United States Army Research, Development and Engineering Command United States Army Research Laboratory United States Army Armament Research, Development and Engineering Center Engineer Research and Development Center Los Alamos National Laboratory Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory LLNL Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory LBNL or LBL Pacific Northwest National Laboratory PNNL Sandia National Laboratories SNL Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake NAWS <laughs> <laughs>